As we mark one year since the coronavirus was declared a pandemic, we're reflecting on how the virus, subsequent lockdowns and restrictions, has changed our lives and relationships. A Great Falls author is sharing her reflections on the past year in her new book titled Love in the Midst of COVID. This morning, we're joined by the author, educator, Great Falls City Commissioner Mary Sheehy Mo to talk more about her book. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. So uh, Love in the Midst of COVID started in large part, it sounds like, last year as social media posts. You uh, shared your reflections throughout the year. Why did you start sharing those thoughts on social media? Well, I had had an experience earlier on with isolation. You may recall that when I was in the legislature, my daughter had triplets and I realized I was going to need to go down there to help her. And so uh, I developed the habit at four in the morning of uh, getting up and trying to write down some thoughts and share them on Facebook as a way to begin the day. And I found that helped me to feel connected to people in Montana that I miss so much. And so I started doing the same thing when the pandemic had me once again, waking up at four in the morning and worrying about things. And um, it developed into a habit and a lot of people said, you know, you ought to put these together and make them into a book. So I did. <laughs> and how was that transition? Did it, did it take much to turn the social media posts into a book? Did they translate over pretty well? Yes, in fact, um, I am very fortunate to have a very talented family. And as it turns out, one of my sisters used to be um, uh, a yearbook editor, so she knew how to do the layout. And she was very patient with my obsessive editing, <laughs> which wouldn't have happened, I think, if I had had to pay somebody to do that kind of work. And then uh, my daughter designed the cover, and um, I'm just really pleased with it. So converting it from day-by-day -day posts into a book was um, uh not as stressful, I think, as it would have otherwise been had I not had such wonderful family help around me. So tell us a little bit about some of those reflections, some of the thoughts that are in the book. Yeah, I've been thinking about that because I'm doing this reading tomorrow. And um, they just kind of, it's sort of whatever was on my mind at that time. Sometimes they're about the pandemic, it's kind of interesting to read now about when we were sort of horrified that there were, you know, a hundred deaths or a thousand. Now that the number is, uh, uh, has passed half a million in the United States. But a lot of times I would just get up and remember things from uh, growing up in the 60s or my own family stories or uh, sometimes historical things since St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I pull a lot of the things from my Irish roots and from Irish history at various points in the book. So it's just storytelling uh, about anything that comes to mind. And the word love, someone might initially think, oh, love, dating, things like that. But love in this term for your book extends to, to all areas of life, all relationships. That's right. Uh, of course, um, Every few days I'm talking about my triplets because they are so enchanting and they uh, being separated from them for so long was really difficult for me. Uh, um, but it was I was so grateful that we have this technology now that allows you to actually see them and and interact with them. And I found so many things, even though it has been a difficult time. I found so many things to be grateful for yeah. uh, in this community and in this state in particular, uh, but also just in human nature. And I, I tried to convey those things in the book. So where and when can people find and purchase your book? Uh, you can purchase the Cassiopeia Books has a few copies there. I'm so pleased that we have an independent bookstore here in town and, and uh, really delighted to be doing a reading there. And you can also purchase it online at marypehemo.squarespace.com. Um, 
or just email me or give me a call. Sounds good. And uh, Mary, you'll be doing a reading from Love in the Midst of COVID. That's happening on Saturday, tomorrow, March 13th at Cassiopeia Books in downtown Great Falls. The event starts at 3 p.m. You are encouraged to call Cassiopeia to reserve a seat as they're, you know, observing social distancing, some uh, limited capacity, things like that. So, Mary, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on your new book. We look forward thank to you. reading parts of it and have fun at your reading tomorrow. I hope so. Thanks so much. Thank you.